All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how to recreate this birthday party movie invitation. Um, I do have a number of other videos on YouTube showing you how to make circular tabs as well as square tags. Really, I'm just trying to show you the basics so you can create virtually any printable that you would like with Microsoft Word and a browser. So uh, first thing we're going to do to recreate this is we're going to insert a shape. And we're going to go ahead and insert a rectangle. Now we're just going to click on our rectangle anywhere in there and we can see that this rectangle shape is selected because we have these boxes around it. What we're going to do is go up to the far right hand corner and type in our exact height and, and width. And you want to do this if you're creating any sort of invitation or any sort of um, a specific size that needs to fit in an envelope such as a 4x6 or a 5x7. This is a way that you can get precision. Okay. So now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and go up to Format and we're going to do our Shape Fill of No Fill and a Shape Outline of Black and we would like to make the weight of this 3 point. Okay, so now we have our basic shape. Now what we're going to do is create these three different sections. So the first thing we're going to want to do is insert a rectangle. And when we insert a rectangle, we're going to create this for the Admit one. We're going to go ahead and this rectangle in here and we're going to go up to format and we're going to do a shape fill of red and a shape outline of no outline because we already have our black outline and we can see this isn't exactly centered so we're going to select on our shape and move the arrow keys down and or up okay now we need to create this um, sort of rounded rectangle so we're going to go through and insert a shape and we're going to insert our rounded rectangle. And let's go ahead and go in here and create that. Once again, you're going to want to ensure format is selected. We're going to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of white and a weight of three. Okay. Now let's go ahead and create the admit one we're going to go through and insert all the way off to the right a text box and we're going to click on draw text box okay and we're going to type admit one okay now as you can see here this doesn't exactly look correct so we're going to want to format this text box when we format this text box we're going to want to do a shape fill of no shape fill and a shape outline of no outline we're also going to want to change the text direction to rotate 90 degrees. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is change the actual font type. Um, now let me really quickly how to show you how to download new fonts. Let's just go to Google. And what I used was AR Bonnie. Um, you can do a search for uh, nearly anything. If you're looking for a carnival type theme or a circus type theme, you can search for carnival fonts or circus fonts. Um, number of different things. 1004. And we're just going to go ahead and download this. And we're going to click here to download. Okay. And we can see here that this is a .ttf file. And we're literally just going to click on install. We already have it installed, but we want to replace it. Now, depending on what site you use to download your font, it might you might get a zip file. You'll have to extract those files and right click on the .ttf file and click install. Okay, simple as that. So now that we have our font, we're going to go up and click on home, and we're going to click on our AR Bonnie. The size of this is 45 and it is bolded. Okay, so now we can see our admit one. And let's go ahead and ensure that this text box is selected and we can very easily move this to center this. Again, just ensuring the text box is selected, you can move the arrows over or you can drag and drop. Now we're going to go through and create the stars. So let's go ahead and insert, once again, another text box. And we can really just kind of put the text box anywhere we want. 
And we're going to go through and insert all the way off to the right a symbol. Okay. If we click on more symbols, just so you can see what this looks like, pretty much every font comes with its own symbols. So you can actually get quite a few. And I'm clicking on this a number of times and just inserting it a decent amount of times. And here's all of our stars. Obviously, we want to click on Format and we want to change the direction to 90 degrees. We're also going to want to do our shape fill for no fill because we don't want our text box to have the white around it and we want to do a no outline. We also want to go to home and change that font color or that symbol color to white. Okay. From here, just like a normal font, you can copy and again all I did was right click and selected copy and then I right click and you can paste to keep source formatting. Okay, Now we have our full line of stars. We can highlight these, copy, press enter for a new line and you can do a control V or you can do paste as I showed you before. And let's just go ahead and click enter to enter in a new line move the text box down a little bit because the text box was smaller and it was cutting it off. And that's how we can essentially create the stars. Okay. You could also change the spacing um, if you wanted to make them a little bit further apart as well as the size, so on and so forth. But now let's go ahead and create this middle section here. What we want to do now is insert. Now we could insert a shape and insert a rectangle and then insert a text box or we could just insert a text box as I just showed you. And from here, we can click on format for this text box and do a shape fill of black. Okay, Because this is a text box, we can type directly in here. And um, I'm going to actually go up and change the font color to white so we can see what we're typing. Beverages and birthday cake provided, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Let's go ahead and highlight this. And once again, we're going to format and we're going to change the text direction to 90 degrees. And we're going to click on home and we're going to change the font to rage italic and the size of 14. And we're going to want to go ahead and center this. Okay. So really the last part here is just creating this dotted line. And what we're going to do here is insert a shape. And let's insert a line. And you can just go ahead and highlight and create that line. Once again, we're going to click on format, change the outline to white, change the weight to two and a quarter and we're going to add a dashed dot round. And now all we have to do is this last section. And of course, we're going to insert our shape and we're going to insert our rectangle. Okay. And from here, we're going to format and we're going to do a shape fill from a picture. Okay. Now I already have this file of red and white background, but you can pick almost any pattern you want. Just go to Google, write red and, red and white striped backgrounds, or if you're doing a um, reptile theme, which I'm actually working on for a friend, you could type in scale backgrounds, uh, really any pattern that you want, and you can use that as the general background. Okay. And we're also going to click on format, and we're going to do shape outline of no outline. All right, now let's go ahead and insert our shape of our plaque. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and do a shape fill of black, shape outline of white, and we're going to add an effect of just a slight shadow on the outside. I just think it has a little bit more of a dimensionality to this. From here, we can go ahead and insert a text box. And 
we're going to go ahead and format this text box and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. Movie ticket. And of course, we're going to want to highlight this, click on our home, and change that font color to white. Okay. The font I used for this is Bedmo Jiggler. And the um, font size is 26. And we're going to want to center this. Okay. Obviously, I remembered um, how I showed you how to insert that star. So we're going to click on Insert, Symbol, and we're going to insert our star. And we're going to highlight that. We're going to click, black, click back on our home and change that to that um, nice orange color. Okay. Please join us to celebrate. And obviously, we want to change the fonts. This is Rage Italic, and the size is 16. Now, as you can see here, um, the spacing is a little different from up here. When you work with fonts and you're using different fonts and different sizes of fonts, a lot of times the line spacing and paragraph spacing um, will, will get a little funky, if you will. So you want to click on that line spacing options, and if there is too much space between them, you want to change the line spacing to single and 0.0, .0 point for before and after, and you can see that got moved right back up. Molly's eighth birthday. And this font, if we click on home, is Broadway, and the size is 21 and the color is red. And then the next line is Calibri, and it's going to be 11. Okay. And of course, we're going to want to insert our stars, which I've showed you how to do before. And we're going to want to, of course, highlight those stars and make those white. Okay. And we can insert a few more stars. Okay. And then from here, we can very easily click. Sun. Oops, we want to make this white. Um, so if you saw that by default, um, it would change the font color to black. So if you start typing and you can't see anything, it's because the font color was black. Okay. You want to change that to red. So then here we can say, ugh. and for some reason this keeps defaulting to Broadway, so be sure that's Calibri, 11, centered, and that has to be white. Boy, that was difficult, sorry about that. <laughs> Sunday, March 13th, from 10, o'clock p.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock a.m. Now I'm not going to go through and type everything else because clearly um, I, my typing skills have something to be desired. So I'm going to show you how you can insert um, these images. So let's go ahead and um, show you how you can very easily download an image. So open up Google and I'm going to type in popcorn and I'm going to do look for a .png file. And the reason why you want the PNG files is because you want that translucent background. Normally, if you um, grab an image, it's going to have this white box around the image, right? The image is going to have that sort of background. And because we have um, this background, which is you know, partially black, partially red and white striped. We don't want any background whatsoever. So if you see this gray and white boxes, this means that it's a transparent background. So you're only going to get the image. So we're going to save image as, and it's already saved, but we'll save it as popcorn too. And let's go ahead and replace that. And then from here we can go through and let's click. Be sure you do not have the text box selected when you insert the image. You just click somewhere else on the screen and we're going to add the image. Okay, so now it came back here. We're going to right click, click on wrap text in front of text. 
And then from here, you just want to grab the corner and you can left click to drag it up and left click to drag it around. And this little arrow on top, you can actually move this popcorn box around. Okay. And then finally, we want to insert a picture and let's insert our movie reel. And we want to put that in front of text and we could put it right there and let's move it around that way. And as we can see, our movie reel is actually on top of this image. So all we want to do is click on this popcorn image, right click and say bring to front. And now that image is laying on top of this image. And that's basically how you cr can create this um, very easily with Microsoft Word in a browser. So if you found this uh, video helpful, please like this video on YouTube. And um, feel free to watch all of my other videos. I think they're quite informative. Thanks so much.